just people that fucking judge are so stupid. Like, um, when my little sister was like six or something, she saw how everyone was like gifting for like the rest of our family members, and she didn't really understand the concept of like money and all that stuff. Um, but she felt like she wanted to contribute to this gifting that like all of us were doing, and she's like. Um, hey mom, like, is it okay if you take me to the 99 cent store and I just pick oh, a present so for all my brothers and sisters? So yeah, she picked like toothbrushes and just oh. really practical things. Yeah, and then she would wrap it herself. So it was like an additional <laughs> gift that was like being put into this Christmas tree. And like, like that's how like our collection would grow. That's cute. So it's like not necessarily super expensive yeah. gifts, but they were really thoughtful. I did that when I was a kid too. Like um, my cousins, I wanted to feel like I was gonna give them something, so I wrapped up. The uh, McDonald's toys that I got. <laughs> you would give your own stuff away. <laughs> my own stuff. And my, like I gave my own snow globe away. Later you're like, that's mine. <laughs> of like star, their typical Starbucks red cups from 1999 and 2014. It looks very festive. Is for this year's. It's just plain red. It's kind of like an ombre of red. So it's like brighter on the top, darker on the bottom. It's like they got lazy. There's no print this year. <laughs> There's no yeah, festive no cheer. There's no, no print this year. <laughs> There's no yeah, festive no cheer. Oh no. I'm speaking in rhyme! But why are Christians so mad? What kind of Christians? They don't like ombre. Because there's a lot of Christians in this world. Well, they just mentioned Christians in general. I don't know. I'm not sure. Today I learned that Starbucks is rounding Christians up into coffee death camps and making them drink pagan spice lattes. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> delicious. So, they're bitching us, or they're bitching about people not celebrating Christmas when they're not even celebrating it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so that stupid. Is. They should denounce Santa Claus. Yeah. The Christmas tree is a fucking pagan thing. Mm -hmm. They should fucking get rid of all of that stuff and celebrate it like, yeah, Christ's birthday, I guess. I feel like people are just finding shit to cry about nowadays. First world this problems, bro. Really, yeah, this is really ridiculous. Put Rudolph back on there, he's Christian! <laughs> yeah, like this other... Person. Where's Frosty the Snowman? He's one of the saints! <laughs> this one dude who I think could probably pass as Santa Claus later on in his life. Here's a photo of him. Chuck Nellis. Chuck Nellis! My Christmas mentality. If a store won't promote Christmas, re Starbucks, I'm not spending my hard earned money there. Ooh, no! Don't do it, Chuck! People's fucking brains are so mixed up. So, do they think the North Pole is like a Christian place? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? We should like hardcore one up and be like, oh, you're not going to the North Pole for Christmas? Fuck you, you're not a Christian. <laughs> one of God's elves. <laughs> <laughs> the dedicated people would go to the North Pole. So we're not talking shit about the religion, we're just talking shit of the dumbasses. Oh, people the are mixing it up. As people. Yeah, Christmas culture is not Christianity and people are tying the wrong things together. Although yeah. it is in... The Bible, I guess, the birth of Christ, but they're not even celebrating it right, like the birth the of Christ. Yeah. We're talking about sugar canes. People ruin all ideas. Little backstory, this guy has been saving up money to buy this PS4, but he wasn't able to actually buy one because that money had to be put into like other types of finances. Like what? Well, He's being responsible. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like paying the bills. Maybe. No! Seriously, no! Oh. No! He just saw the controller. Don't do that! How could you do that? How cute! I love you. Aww. Aww. That's all it takes! So <laughs> <How> cute! <laughs> She runs like, goodbye, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, two months later, she turns into a girlfriend on YouTube and smashes her boyfriend's playthrough. Oh, no, oh, no! Because no. he spends too much little time with her? Yeah! That'd be fucked up. It's just a DVD player. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> bitch! This isn't the reason why I bought this for you! <laughs> Do you think she knows, though, how, min how much time he's gonna be spending on that thing? Oh, I'm sure. Too. Absolutely. Maybe she wants to play too. And she didn't buy him just like a bullshit PlayStation. She knew her shit. Yeah. She bought the whole bundle, the Destiny yeah. bundle. It, it was just hilarious on multiple levels. Cause it's like the way he looked, like his appearance, his age, like his excitement. Like it was just, <laughs> it was just funny. It was just geeky like Einstein looking nerd. I know. <laughs> I hope they get married. They're so cute. They're not married already. Uh, oh, boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. I hope they get married. 
Well, if he wants to break up, now is the perfect time. <laughs> wow. That's terrible! He should have broke up with her before Christmas. Why? So he didn't have to buy her a present. No, but he got a but PS4. He, he could have bought her like a cheap like, $20 present. Oh, that's true. I wonder what he got her. He's like, fuck. I don't know. Apparently there's no video about it, so it's probably nothing special. Oh. oh, come on! Do you guys still do Christmas yeah. presents? Like, do you guys give and... Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah. but you, usually for the kids that are like yeah. under 10 years old. Right? Yeah, I usually buy it for like my nieces and nephews, but now they're not cute anymore, so I don't buy it for them. <laughs> Needless to say, she got laid that night. Christmas is coming news. I love Christmas! Christmas! I love Christmas, I love Christmas too. so much. Feliz Navidad, puta. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> An overly enthusiastic delivery man leaves a package on the roof and a note to explain how it got there. <laughs> that was a joke, Tiffany. They're the OGs. Tiff wasn't one of these. <laughs> Did you guys ever believe that Santa was real? Fuck yeah. yeah! Yeah. Did you ever believe that he was like creeping up on your roof? So, like any noise did you make, like that the roof made would be like. <laughs> Wait, guys! If you still believe in Santa, turn this off. Oh yeah. Santa. <laughs> What's pretty dope is so I grew up. Uh, my childhood was in Cerritos. And we used to get these newsletters, and uh, every time Christmas came, the newsletter it would say like to write to Santa. You write this address. And then so I would write to Santa like every single year, and there was a PO box in Cerritos, and I'm like. Mom. Don't tell anyone, but everyone thinks Santa's in the North Pole. He lives in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> so I would always write to Santa every single year with crayons. When you were in the car with your mom going to the grocery store, like within the city, were you always like, dude, I know he's fucking here right now? Well, no, I, I knew that I wasn't even supposed to be looking for him. Because, you know, I don't uh... want to blow his cover, so I just... I was just chilling. You know what my parents would do? I, you know the the holes in the in the ceiling that that, that lead to the the roof the of chimney? the house. No, no. Not, the not. holes in the ceiling that lead to the the roof of the house, or not the roof, but the, oh, to the attic. attic. Oh yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. So my parents every Christmas Eve they would like move it, so it looked like I guess he came from there because we didn't have a chimney, so they would move it. Yeah, your parents time. cared about you. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And then uh, when I would wake up, I'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> That was like my that was like my marker. That's pretty cute. Yeah, and I was like, yes, he fucking came, came, came. When I first started kind of doubting that Santa was real, because like the other kids were saying it and yeah. stuff, I remember like I saw the pile of presents from Santa, and I asked my grandma, I was like, did Santa really get these, or did you get? These? <laughs> and my grandma was like, oh, what? What? She's like, okay, I'll admit it, I got that, but Santa got everything else. I was like. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> okay, just, I was curious. I was hearing some things. <laughs> I only pictured like all the, the throwback Thursdays pictures of you as a little kid. <laughs> I yeah. pictured you that gotta imagine that with the bowl cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Oh, um. You got so excited. No, that if I, like, I think if I, if I had kids, I would do what your parents did, but take it to the next level and get like boot marks in the mud and just really make it look like Santa came. I'd be it. so pissed. Why? I'm like, you fucking dirty the whole house. But for the kids, because we're doing it. Yeah. It's evident. So we tricked the yeah. fuck out of them. Do you guys ever decorate your home? Uh, we did it for Christmas once, and then I never wanted to do it again because I was the one who had to take it down and put it up. Oh. Yeah, same here. Yeah, it was very labor intensive for me. I wanted to hook up my house. Like, I was so inspired after going to those rich neighborhoods, and the way they hook up their houses, it's like a theme park. Yeah, it's like Santa's Village. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the ones when they do the light shows that sync up to music. Oh. Well, I mean, your house is Christmas all year long. You still have your That's Christmas true. Because I, we, our house loves Christmas. You know what I miss? Like, you know, like in the 90s and early 2000s, they got like those Christmas movies. And then like, they, you, you just have like entire blocks in the movies of like, they, they went down the street and there's snow and it just feels so festive. I feel like every single year we're losing out on the, the festiveness of each holiday. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, it's alive in the East Coast though. Because they have the seasons, they have the snow, it's there. But out here in California, and Hawaii, not so much. I remember feeling it a little Me bit, too. like I growing up. Yeah. But now I just feel like it's just all oh, like the theme, the movies, and just the, just the houses. Yeah. That's true. More decoration. Yeah. You need that uh, one family member that really cares enough to do it. That was my sister. Yeah, for me it was my uh, older cousin, but he moved to Texas now. So, but for him, like every time we went to Sacramento, we went to I think it's called Apple Hill, 
and we would actually cut down our own Christmas tree. Cool. And then cool. you put it on the truck, you take it back, and then you set it up. And uh, yeah, just having that like one moment to look forward to every year where you know that this is going to be the centerpiece of the house, it kind of sets the mood for everything. And if you don't have that, the holiday passes like nothing. Mm -hmm. And I think because we all grew up and we're not around children. Yeah. Because if we had siblings, I think they would have continued this, uh, the whole thing if we had really young. Because Mariel too, she never celebrated a Christmas. Like her parents never really do it. Well, even when she was a children. Oh, we're gonna get you a Christmas tree this year. Yeah, I've been trying to, but just the place where we lived, there was always an office, or it was just the dogs were there now. Well, you guys can. Uh, you can do it now. You gotta get a real one that smells delicious. Yeah, so. Are you get natural or? Yeah. Oh, cause I have my fake one and I can never put up because I have cats now. Oh, uh, no, I like the every year growing up, I always had the real one. And it Not makes cute. your house smell so Yeah, good. and it just sets Ooh. the mood. Because like for her, so what I did, I got her like a mini tree, mm -hmm. and I like put lights around it and I decorated it for How her. Cute. And so like when she came, she's like, oh my God, it's so nice. Even if it's a small one, it sets the mood. And then you kind of string does. the lights and you turn the lights off, Christmas. Uh -huh. I never had a real Christmas tree either. It's always been the make mm -hmm. the plastic one. Really? Because we own the plastic one and then just set that one up. Yeah, because it costs money to buy one. It does, and you have to repeat every year. Yeah. But Christmas trees aren't expensive though. They're not, they're like 20, 40 bucks. At most. At most. If you get a giant one, it's like 20 bucks. If you get a small one, they're like $10. That's what sucks, it's like growing up we have, we, we saved on all kinds of stuff. And then I find out later on all the things my parents saved on, they weren't even like that expensive. <laughs> they are not. That's so true. I mean like, the, the Christmas tree that we had, it was a ham, it was someone gave it to us. Yeah. And it was the I had to fucking set that shit up. I hated it because every every time we set it up, my hands would be all fucking prickly and shit. Those are actually pretty expensive. I think they're like a hundred bucks or something, right? I think I bought mine for one fifty. Fucking fake ass tree. Because even this year, I'm gonna get a smaller one, just because I, it's kind of a, a hassle to take down the tree, chop it up, and then do all that stuff. But if you get one that's about like maybe this tall. I'm gonna put it you gotta up. chop it up. Oh, yeah, Christmas it tree. We just leave it out in the trash bin. We just pick it up. Oh, uh, Christmas you know, you tree. To call, you have to call them to take it away. You know, for anything. Or if it doesn't fit in the trash can, they gotta take it. Yep, you have to call the city up to oh, take it away. Because where I grew up, it, they had like a specific date or like a week where they would pick up Not the trees. Is. You could oh. burn it.